So the rain has been on and off for like the past two days and clearly it's rained a lot. That's not a river, that's a road and you can't see it. Like I said, on the island of Shergao, the irrigation isn't amazing, clearly, on, uh, on these roads. The main roads are fine, it's just these back roads. But yeah, you'd be surprised. People ride their bikes through this like it's nothing. I actually had to do that last night to find internet because when it rains, the internet goes down here. And so we were frantically searching so we could book a flight and I had to drive a bike at nighttime through these puddles. It's a surprise, you never know what you're gonna hit, especially holes and rocks. But today we have a totally different fun and exciting plan. We are, uh, we're not surfing today, and in a way I'm kind of glad because I am so, so sunburnt from yesterday. Instead of the surf, we are hitting up the island tour in Shergao. Now the island tour is a really popular thing to do, I guess, when you're here, according to the internet. But basically we're gonna get hop on a boat, we're gonna get snorkels, we're gonna get lunch, and they're going to take us around to all of the small islands surrounding this island and explore them. There's some beautiful, picture-perfect islands. I can't wait to show you guys. It's, it'll be intense, I can tell you that. But first off, I need to grab some baked goods from my favorite bakery down the street. This is the biggest puddle I've encountered. I'm not gonna show you, but I like no lie, I have to hike my shorts up like that to get through it. I'm not gonna show you, but trust me. Hi, I have a cinnamon bun, a chocolate muffin, and then two of those. That blows my mind. All of those baked goods for roughly 19 pesos, which equivalates to like 45 cents Canadian. Crazy. I never really thought about it until just now, but putting on sunscreen when you're solo traveling, it's a lot more difficult than when you have two buddies with you who can lather your back. So Kermit is actually the resort that's putting on this uh, this tour, and the Kermit Resort is basically the nicest resort on Shergo. Actually very, very hard to get a reservation. You have to book months in advance for your room, and you have to schedule it for a certain amount of days. So unlike usually what we do is just show up, you can't do that here. You have to have, book in advance. For example, the restaurant is actually booked three nights in advance fully for reservations. So it's a very, very nice resort. It would um, be awesome to just stay here. <laughs> We're checking out three islands today. One, two, and then one way down there. So this is the first beautiful island of the tour and uh, it's not very big at all. It's actually probably like 100 maybe, maybe 150 meters across, but it is stunning. All this volcanic rock along and that entire way is probably like a 10 minute boat ride from uh, Shergao and the entire way you could have walked it basically. It was shallow blue water. Really cool. Really missing my boys. Christian and Chris, I wish you guys were here. It's not quite the same without you guys. Not quite the same. We could just be chilling on this beach, boys. Back on the boat. What do you do when your heart starts racing? And your mind don't control what it means you In the clouds and it feels like heaven. Island number two. I must say, the boat ride to this island was somewhat freaky. Those had to be some of the biggest swells of waves I've seen in my life. Just going, we are kind of going diagonal and seeing them build up and then go over top of them. Thankfully, they didn't break on us. That could have ended badly, especially on that sketchy boat. But uh, yeah, they were ginormous, just swells. Must make for really good surfing. And that's the reason this island's so popular for surfing. They have some gnarly waves, bruh. There's a pig. Sud it. <laughs> oh my god. Say cheese. One, two, three. Yeah, I got it. I'm usually not a huge fan of coconut, but this one, it must be ripe or something. It is, uh, it is really good. It's actually pleasant. Now we're gonna chill on a hammock and eat the coconut meat. The dude opened it up for me. Look at that. 
and enjoy. He even made me a coconut spoon. Instagram, right? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody choose your right dash deck, please. Oh man, the sun just came out, guys, and this is picture perfect. Nice traditional Filipino lunch into a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Though my sunburn hurts oh so much, so much on my face. <laughs> And the final island is Naked Island, known for being barren and naked. There are so many bikes down the street and I asked why because because it's weird It's like a random street with so many bikes the reason is chicken fight They're having a big big chicken fight and apparently all of Shergo is here to watch it. I Will not be attending. I've seen one too many in Vietnam Island hopping today though is prime the weather honestly hasn't been the best while we've been on Shergo, but it really shaped up today. There was definitely some rainy periods, but majority of it, pure, sh little, pure sunshine. Oh. 